Yamaha could be following in Honda's footsteps into the world of electronically assisted turbocharged motorcycles, according to a newly revealed patent. A patent filed by Yamaha suggests that the Iwata factory is considering the use of an electronic turbo e-turbo system, with a potential new motorcycle featuring the CP3 engine in development. Honda made waves at ICMA last year when it presented the V3 concept, an innovative configuration with a more exciting aspiration system. Instead of a conventional turbo or supercharging, the Honda V3 used an electronically assisted turbo, and Honda may not be alone in considering its use. Yamaha's new patent shows a naked motorcycle, with a profile similar to one of the company's CP3-powered machines. Not many technical details are revealed, with the image only showing where and how the system would be integrated into the motorcycle, and how the intake, manifold, and powertrain would be positioned. The move to e-turbo is partly driven by increasingly stringent emissions regulations, with manufacturers having to comply with increasingly restrictive rules, extracting 1000 cc of performance from a much smaller displacement engine makes perfect sense. And while you might be thinking, then why not just use a regular turbo? Conventional turbos fitted to motorcycles come with their own set of technical issues. For starters, space is extremely limited on a motorcycle, far more so than in the automotive industry. Switching to an e-turbo means you can, within reason, place the operational parts of the system in a location that is optimized to take advantage of the bike's slim packaging. Conventional turbos, which are most commonly driven by the exhaust gases from the engine, also suffer from two other drawbacks, heat and lag. Driven by exhaust gases, turbos can reach temperatures in excess of 1000 degrees Celsius, and so much heat being emitted from the components on something as small as a motorcycle can have a huge ripple effect. Exhaust-driven turbos also suffer from what's called turbo lag, which is a situation where the turbo will only deliver full power once the turbines in the turbo have reached optimum speed, or spooled up to use the colloquial terminology. <laughs>